Yeah. MMA Weekly here with Dennis Kang, prior to his fight with Michael Bisping. Dennis, um, you've kind of flown under a li little bit under the radar here in the UK, under the shadow of Michael Bisping's kind of public persona. Um, how do you think that plays into your hands with this fight? I think for me it plays great, you know, it's kind of like a, a coming out party for me. You know, it's, uh, he's the one who's got most of the pressure on him. It's, he's coming off the rebound with his last fight. It's his hometown. He's got a lot of expectations to live up to from his fans and, and, and everybody over here, you know. So for me it's like a, a free fight, you know, I don't really feel any pressure for this fight at all. Do you think um, he's kind of sort of glossing over you as an opponent? Because obviously you've got a massive background um, fighting in Japan across all ranges of, of the sport. So, I mean, how do, what do you think his perception of you is? Do you think he's glossing it or do you think he's taking you as a serious opponent? I don't know. If I were him, I wouldn't be taking me... Uh Lately, you know, but if he is, he's going to be in for a rude awakening come Saturday night. What sort of skills do you think he's going to bring to the table with you this time? Um, I think his usual self, you know, he's a pretty well-rounded fighter. He's got a striking background and usually has uh, good cardio. You know, he pushes a fast pace. So we're going to see what I can do with that. Obviously, in his last outing against Dan Anderson, we saw some hesitancy with the willingness to trade. Um, do you think that's just going to be gone from his mind? He's just going to come out the same as always, striking? Or do you think in the back of his mind there's that kind of, you know, re kind of remembering his first knockout? I, I think it's always there, you know. It's always going to be there, and some people can never recover from that. Okay. So, from your point of view, um, sort of how do you think this fight's going to play out? Um, you know, I can't predict the future, I don't know. But uh, I think we're both going to come out aggressively, and if he hasn't forgotten what happened to him last time, I'm going to remember. <laughs> okay. Um, and just final question. Looking forward to um, where you stand in the division. A wing over Michael Bisping. Where does that put you? I think it puts me one step closer to a title shot. You know, I don't think I'll, I'll be in line yet. There's a few guys ahead of me that that have done a little more. I've been with the UFC longer, but uh, it definitely puts me up there, maybe in the top ten, top okay. five. Who knows? No, that's cool. Thanks for your time. No problem.